The central nervous system consists of the brain and the spinal cord. If it is not the brain and the spinal cord, it is not the central nervous system. So cranial nerves, spinal nerves, all receptors, they are not part of the central nervous system. They are part of the peripheral nervous system. What we see is that the sensory information from outside of the body is received by receptors. These receptors, they convert this stimulus of pressure, heat, and so on into an electrical signal. And this electrical signal is what we call a nerve impulse. This electrical signal flows from the periphery towards the central nervous system. And then we interpret this information, we are conscious of this information, and we decide an outcome. This outcome is a motor movement if, for example, we were touching something hot. So we feel it's hot, we are conscious that that, that sensation was a hot, burning sensation, that stimulus was transferred to the central nervous system, which interpreted this information, and now the motor outcome is exiting the central nervous system, and we contract a muscle to move our upper limb away from the damaging site.